Hello and welcome to another tutorial by me, Hamster Hill. Um, this one's going to be on character modeling. Um, we're going to make a character, and then um, in the next one, we're going to um, rig it. That might take a few, and then um, hopefully after that, we're going to then texture it, and then we're going to ch um, chuck it in our game, and um, set that all up so it'll run around and can have a, an actual animated, good-looking character in your game um, instead of the cube that we have now. So, um, yeah, so to get started, what we're going to do is I have stolen um, some blueprints from a game called uh, Little Big Planet that's on the uh, PS3. It's actually a fairly good game from what I've played of it. Uh, it looks a little childish, but it's got some cool physics stuff and whatever. And um, so, yeah, so I quite liked how the character looks, so um, I found a thing on the internet an image and now I'm going to load that image by going view background image and then you go in here and click load uh, change the directory by pressing this thing here go down to mines and desktop oh here we go I've already because I've already done this I've already been to this link for so it's in this previously used links thing here so I just go my documents pictures for modeling and it's somewhere down here um, t -t 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 can't remember what it's called now. I think it was. Um, don't panic. Here we go. I think that's the character's name, but I'm not too sure. Um, so here we go. So now we have this image in our background of this character. I quite like it because it's got like a big head and then a little body. It's sort of nice cartoony. Um, and now we're going to start modeling it. So first thing we can do is delete our default cube, and we're currently in top view. So what we want to do is. Um, basically have it from top view if you click about here on the um, top of the head somewhere in the middle um, that should align if you press front view to his neck and then if you go to side view it should also align to there yeah see so now that point there aligns with the side view and the front view in the middle of the neck or close enough to the middle of the neck so, I'm switching through views by new using numpad 1 and numpad 3. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, now what we need to do is go back to top view, press space, add, mesh, circle. And um, you want to make sure that fill is on and change the number of vertices down to about eight, uh, about 10. Um, you can use less or you can use more, but because this is going to be for a game, you want to use as little vertices as possible. So, um, 8 vertices should serve our purpose fine. Um, so once you've done that, then go back to uh, front view here, which is numpad 1, and you want to grab it and move it all the way to the top of the head, um, and just scale it, oh no, actually don't scale it down very yet. First, go back to top view, and you want to rotate it, uh, just holding shift to get it fine until you uh, align these perfectly straight, so probably the best way to tell is to sort of press Z so you can see through it and then see that it's about the same way down on this side as this side so um, and the reason for that is because it's a um, when when you have something that's ten sided that comes out with the circle thing it sometimes comes out the wrong way like that so um, it doesn't come out at the right angle and um, if it's at the right angle, we can then eventually mirror it so that it looks perfect on both sides. Whereas if you don't do that properly, it won't end up. Nice. Um, so yeah, so now we've centered it in the middle of his head and we've scaled it down a bit. And um, we're just going to continue extruding it down. Uh, so I'm going to extrude it to say here. And then scale it up a bit. And then extrude it down to about there and scale it up a bit maybe move it up a little bit extrude it down again try to capture that chin if we can screw it down again to there and scale it no you want to try and catch all the nice looking curves and stuff um yeah so just pressing E to extrude then um dragging it down to where you want it and then pressing S to scale and um so yeah extrude it down 
through the neck, scale it, and then strip it down for the shoulders, just about there, and scale it up. Right. Um, so now, if we press numpad 3, we can go to side view, and we can see that at this part here, the body is a little bit thick. Um, we also have it slightly misaligned, but that's easily fixed as well. Um, so what we can do to that is we can just B box select these bottom vertices here, and then just press S, and you want to scale them. Uh, make sure your mouse is a little further away from the middle than just right next to it, otherwise you don't get any real fine control. So scale it, and um, press Y, so it's only across the Y axis, and just scale it so the body isn't that wide. Alright, cool. So um, we're going to continue going down the body now. Um, then we'll probably end up splitting our body in half and mirroring it so that we can get um, all the hands and arms looking the same on each side. Uh, yeah, so extrude, go down, go down to. You want to have enough room for the arms on this extrusion, so if you go back to our front view, yeah, um, just grab it, move it down to where the arms are, and scale it up because um, that'll be where our arms attach to. Probably actually a little less than that. Like that. Okay, cool. And then it's extrude region down. Um, back from this side here. Um, scale it up a little bit and move over there. You can, you can be as accurate or as inaccurate as you like, depending on how much time you have or whatever. Um, this may end up going into more than one video, but that's okay. Alright, cool, so now we got to the legs. Yeah. Uh, um, now, I probably might as well just finish the body here by putting down, then press W, merge, center. And um, so now that we got the body all done, we'll just fix up some things that look good from one angle but not from another. So. Uh, Scale X. If you're doing a lot of scaling across axes at once, so in, in a row, it's a good idea if you have a look at this um, widget thing here that normally moves things. If you go down here, you can press the square one here, which changes it so that it's a scaling widget. And you can then just grab it and just scale that like that. You can press A, B, grab this, scale it across this axis, and then scale it across this axis, and it ends up saving you a bit of time. Um, also, if you have big gaps like this that for some reason you don't want anymore that you did want before, uh, so you got a big gap here, you want to fill it in with some more vertices, what you can do is you can press Control R, and that'll give you a ring cut. If you left click, you can position it across that line, or if I right click to cancel it, um, you can also Alt R, and then if you want it directly in the middle, you can just press right click, and it should automatically, no, wait, middle click. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so if you press middle click, it'll do it directly in the middle of them, whereas right click cancels. And if you do left click, you can position it precisely however you want. So yeah, so just um, get it all looking good to you. Um, I'm going to grab this head part here, move it up. Um, so yeah, this is the end of part one, and um, I will see you in part two.